Hi, welcome to um, me just getting to work at NCIS. I'm Polly, and I'm gonna become Abby, and I guess you get to watch. At this point, I'm usually really sleepy. I don't have any coffee. I usually have some coffee. These are my fellow playmates. There's Sean Murray and Michael Wedley. Michael Wedley's in there somewhere. I'm at the house. I'm inside the building. Comm check. Say hi. Give me a communications check. Hi. <laughs> Jesse Stern wrote this, this game. Preparation for a squadron scene. Usually about this point, I will go take my crap and throw it in my trailer. See, Abby says right there. That's how I know I'm home. So now um, we are headed to uh, hair and makeup. Because uh, I don't think I could play Abby like this. Here we are. Destination. Hi. Hi. Whoa. Hi. Oh, it's you. <laughs> yes, it's me. Come in. So this is a hair and makeup trailer. Um, that's Carla Dean. Hello. She does my hair. And that's Joe. Hi, I'm Joe. <laughs> Joe does makeup. All right. Main thing with hair, we get in here, clearly. I have um, really, really curly hair. <laughs> so Carla makes it go away. You want to tell him anything about my hair, Carla? Um, just that it's blonde and we make it black. Yes. And we cut her bangs for every episode. Yes. And it's curly, so we straighten it with a flat iron. There's actually a lot of thought gone into whether Abby has, what are they all? High ponytails, low ponytails, High ponytails and braids, low braids, and a lot of it has to do with time. Time. Sometimes it's time because braids are faster. And it also yeah. has to do with what I'm doing on stage. Like if I'm rolling underneath the car in a garage on my little truck, we figured out the hard way that I can't have big, long, flowing ponytails because I get caught in the wheels. Once we get it straight, we part it, and then we start our pigtail process. Yes, and if I forget to dye my hair or if I'm too tired, then I end up with blonde roots all the way here, and Carla has to put black powder on my head so you can't see my blonde roots. But I dyed my hair, so she today's a good day. Good. We get to skip a step. Sometimes I just get tired of dyeing my hair, and we fake it. So, okay, what are you gonna do? High ponies, low ponies? We're gonna do high ponies. Cool, and then I go like this. So these are gonna be Abby's bangs. Right now they're not. But they will be. So we take this comb. Sometimes it's another comb. That's your comb, too. This is my comb. My comb. And she likes to do her own bangs. Yes, there's things that I like to do myself. I just assist. <laughs> are we done? We are done. Woo! All right, now we get to go to makeup. So, um, this is the makeup chair. And the first thing we do, most important thing, is sunblock. <laughs> sunblock, not only for me, but also for Abby. Because neither me nor Abby like the sun. So we get tons of this, and we're way up here in the desert, and it's really sunny here. But I can't put any sunblock right here. Why? Because a tattoo goes there. That's right. <laughs> then comes some, this. I'm resistant to how much makeup Abby wears. And <laughs> she's resistant to I'm yes. resistant. I have to do this every day. So we make a little plan, and then he hands me stuff, and I do it, and I do it really, really fast, because I don't like sitting here. Clearly, he doesn't have to apply all these tattoos, because I came with them, which is good. Yes, it is. All right, done. One thing, done. Oh, aha, this is fun. I like doing my eyebrows. Eyebrows are done. <laughs> Finished. Eyeliner. <laughs> Mascara. And it's got to be waterproof because I sometimes I'm sitting in this makeup for like 16 hours once I put it on. 
This is my lip pencil, but depends on what I'm wearing, whether or not we do a red family or a pink family. So this is, if my outfit has red in it, we do red family. And if, we, if my outfit has pink in it, we do pink family. But at this point, we've pretty much got it down to, we have, this is my red, and then I, my other one is my pink. So we have two pencils. Joe likes to bring in me like 20 different lipsticks to look at. Well, not really 20, but it's more than 20. We have all of these. This is what this is what Joe likes for me to look at. So he'll try to get go through this bag and get me to try on all different colors. But um, I like this color and I like the other color. So I wear the same two colors depending on what my outfit is all the time. And Joe gets to sit here and look through the uh, lipstick bag and dream. All right, and then I usually go like this. It's a little secret. Right. Lip gloss. Done. Okay, so here comes the very worst part of the process. <laughs> and every day that I come to work, every day since, what, probably the first week, five years ago? Yes. I have to prepare myself for the dreaded putting on of the neck tattoo. I absolutely hate it. I hate the tattoo. It's sticky. I know he has to put water all over me. It goes on my back. And then later on in the day, it gets all gummy and sticky depending on the weather or depending on what I'm doing or depending on how many people like try to touch it. And then sometimes we have to take the whole thing off again and put it back on again. So I keep trying to get the writers to write an episode where Abby gets her neck tattoo removed, but it's no go. So um, I guess we're gonna have to keep on doing this. But pretty much every day when, I, when we get to this point, I go, I hate that tattoo. And he says, I know, but I do it because it's my job. I mean, it's cute. It's just, I, it doesn't feel nice. Cause then I had to put a choker on on top of it and then it pulls the tattoo off and we have to, we, we were trying to figure out how many times we've done this. And then what have we done 110 episodes at this point? So we figured it's probably about like 600 times I've put this tattoo Something on. of that nature, yes. Yeah. May I part your hair for a moment? Sure, and then he puts it all over there. This is the bullseye. Okay, so this is my diaper that protects me. And then the water goes in the microwave. We figured that out, what, like halfway through first season, that if we make the water really, really hot, that it like goes a little faster. True. We keep trying to make, oh, that's Different alcohol. Ways of doing it. So now he, has, he does this all with alcohol in case I tried to sneak some sunblock on my neck when he wasn't looking. Give us a tilt, darling. That's what he says every day, and then I go like this. I think it's ready. I think it's time. Come on, Joe. Uh. All right, I'm gonna get up and run around soon. There she is. Okay. Have to put a little thing of protection over the top. And that tattoo is finished. Now, if I'm wearing something where my back shows, um, that's what this is for. Because this is the other tattoo transfer that we have to do. These are mine. These are, I own these, so we don't have to put those on. But this takes a lot of math because we'll have to measure my outfits. If it's a, a back that goes down like this, we have to make sure that it, if, if that part of my back shows, we have to put the tattoo on. So we try to keep uh, my blouses and shirts above that. But if we don't, then we have to take this little picture and I have to stand like that. And we have to figure out how to get Abby's back tattoo. It's a really beautiful tattoo. And then after we do all this, they have to take a picture of me for continuity, makeup and hair does. So the next 10 times that we have to put on the same outfit and the same hair, we know that it looks the same. And then I have to go put on Abby clothes and do Abby things. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, here's something. Whenever you enter or exit a makeup trailer, no matter what, you just have to say this. Stepping.
The reason why is because if someone else is in here getting their makeup on, like say they have a pencil in their eye or something, then everybody has to know to stop when somebody's gonna come up the stairs. That's a rule of the industry. You have to say stepping. Some people say stepping up, stepping down. I really don't think it makes a difference because you're stepping either way. But you're supposed to say that whenever you enter or exit a makeup trailer for safety reasons, safety first. Stepping, and I usually, this is what I say. I say stepping and then I go slamming. 